Guys, I was so worried about Elvis the other day. I mean, I love Elvis so much. I mean, he is one of my favorite animals. But then he just kind of sat there and he didn't move for like 20 minutes. Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog from me and Nova here. I absolutely love this animal so much. Of course, he's an Indonesian frilled dragon and he is absolutely incredible. Of course, he's like my Dilaposaurus from Jurassic Park. Regardless, this is the first kind of normal day back after a handful of trips to Italy and Mexico and all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna have an absolutely amazing day and I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible too. What do you say me and Nova and everyone else has a great day together? One of the first things I wanted to do is actually weigh salt and pepper. It's been a couple weeks since I weighed them. If you remember last time, salt was actually 123 grams. She is chunky as can be. And today we haven't fed her yet, so she's probably gonna gain another five or eight grams after we feed her. She is doing so well. She's starting to really click her train well, so I just love this animal so much. Let's go ahead and see how much she weighs. There you go, sweetie. Go. There you go, sweetheart. All right, she is 152 grams. That is awesome. She gained 30 grams in the last you know, week and a half or two weeks. So, oh my gosh, salt is doing so good. But I tell you what, Pepper has gotten extremely big. That thing is just a beast. Let's go ahead and get him and see how much he weighs. And take a look at this monkey right here. Ooh, doggy, he is absolutely incredible. He was 231 grams the last time we weighed him. I have a feeling he's gained a lot of weight because like I said, he has been a monster. When these guys first came in, I was feeding like six or eight pellets every other day. Now they're eating like 20, sometimes even 25 pellets every single day. So let's go ahead and see what Pepper weighs. He is 283 grams. So he gained over 50 grams just in the last two weeks. Uh, I'd say he's well on his way. And again, he's about six weeks older than Salt. So like I've been mentioning, I think six weeks from now, Salt will probably weigh 280 grams. But this guy, who knows? He'll probably be five, 600 grams by then. So, all right, that is absolutely incredible. Let's go ahead and feed the dart frogs. And like I've mentioned in the past, guys, I don't know, it's really therapeutic for me to feed these guys. I mean, they're just so beautiful. They literally look like little toys. I mean, it's something that you would think you would find at a toy store, like little plastic, vibrant frogs that you could buy. They are absolutely incredible. So feeding them every day just kind of makes me happy. So it's pretty nice to be back here at the Reptarium and get back in my routine. Eric, what is going on, What's man? happening? It's nice to be back, man. Yeah, it's good you to see nothing. you. I know no, it. I know. Do I look different? Dude, you look nice and tan. You look, you look good. Looking good. I know, right? Right, right. Actually, I only was in the sun for like one day, but I burned. The entire time I was there, I had a shirt on because I am really white and I burned. <laughs> I don't tan, I burn. And so, literally, Lori and myself went in the ocean like literally like two or three times for like five minutes. Oh, and I man. got a sunburn on my chest. Oh, like I mean, I was out there that? for like I know I was out there for like 15 minutes without a shirt on in the water and still got a sunburn. They say that the moisture in the air from the ocean, man, it just cooks you. Is that what they say? So half of me is from Britain, so I don't even go in the sun. I burn too. I'm really white, pasty. <laughs> yeah, I so. stay away from it. I see you have a bunch of food out today. What do you feed them? Yep, we're gonna be feeding all the clubrids today, razors and stock. So we're just gonna go through, feed everything, and nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. You do realize that we're only about two weeks away from clubrids Dude, coming up. I'm so excited. You're excited. I'm so amped, man. That's awesome. It's a Stairmaster 10,000, but we'll get it. We'll get it. <laughs> it is funny I will say this like when you go to put clubers down it's almost like a relief like oh finally get a little bit of a break but once they're down for a short while you can't wait to get them back up because yeah. it's exciting yeah. gonna breed them get eggs all that stuff it's gonna be a yeah. really fun year oh and by the way I have some surprises about the clubers but I'm not gonna share that with you guys now it's probably gonna be a week and a half two weeks and then uh, I've got something to surprise you guys with hey Lori what's going on I've got to ask you a question can you help me out with something no I can't help you out right now I'm too busy what? What the heck is wrong with her? Or what in the heck is wrong with your mom? I don't know. I was in there like 10 minutes ago and she was just screaming at me. I don't even know. That's crazy. I wonder what's going on. One of the main reasons I love drinking coffee is I do love the taste. And I also enjoy just the smell and the whole experience of having my coffee. I like to drink my coffee black. 
and before trying trade, sometimes I had a hard time wanting to try new flavors, new experiences. Today they sent me Irving Farm. So this one sounds interesting. It has a blend of milk chocolate, toffee, clementine, and it's a medium roast. Because trade deals with over 50 of the nation's best roasters and has over 400 different kinds of coffee, I can go ahead and go online and take a quiz and they'll send me coffee specifically for me. The reason they sent me the 71 house blend is I went on their website and I took a really short quiz, just three or four questions, telling them what I like in coffee, and they thought this would be a perfect match for me. All I have to do is taste it and enjoy it. Mm, that's really good. I like it a lot. I think they did a pretty good job matching. I feel like a new person. Lori? Yeah, hon, what's up? Hi, are you in a better mood? Yeah, everything's great. You know everything's better when it starts with coffee. You know, coffee is something that makes Lori really happy, and we actually are teaming up with Trade right now, and the first 100 people that use the link down below and actually use the coupon code BRIANB will get 50% off their first coffee. That's right, click the link below, use BRIANB promo code, and you get 50% off your first order of coffee. It's a pretty good deal, right? It is a good deal, and I really like this coffee. Go ahead, click the link below. <laughs> We've really been working these alligators a lot for clickers. You can see, look at this guy. There you go, bud. There you go, bud. <laughs> I absolutely love these animals. They are so absolutely incredible. I mean, look at this little guy. He's like, come feed me some more. That's one thing I will say, if I ever get like a bigger reptarium built or something like that, I definitely want to do more crocodilians because I absolutely think they're amazing. Alligators are cool, don't get me wrong, I really love my alligators, but I wish I had like 10 or 12 different exhibits of different crocodilians. Eric, what do you got in your hand there, bud? This is Mary's taco. And what are you doing with okay. Mary's taco? I'm a little hungry, okay? She has it left over. I'm just gonna say Phoebe got it. Phoebe, got you can't blame it on Phoebe, dude. You're not gonna really eat Mary's taco, are you? I mean, it's, you know, at least we're married. What's hers is mine. Mine is hers. Oh my gosh. Okay? You're, just cover me. Yeah. We'll put a couple little wrappers on Phoebe's bed. Oh, I'm not I do it at home no. all the time. No. The dog got your leftovers. Mary's taco. I'll try not to. <laughs> oh! Okay, we gotta go. <laughs> Guys, I was so worried about Elvis the other day. I mean, I love Elvis so much. I mean, he is one of my favorite animals. I mean, just look at how absolutely incredible he is. And a couple days ago, I did the same thing I'm doing right now, is we always open the door and we always let Elvis come out on his own. We never actually take Elvis out. We always just open up. If he wants to come out, we let him come out. If he wants to stay in his cage, we let him stay in his cage. But the truth is, he always wants to come out. So he did exactly what he was doing right here. But then once he got out he's always cruising around and he's always on the go he's always super curious but then he just kind of sat there and he didn't move for like 20 minutes and at first I thought that's kind of weird maybe he's just chilling I don't really know but the truth is is that it seemed like he was just kind of having a problem where it's almost like he couldn't move the way he wanted to move. I was stressed out like you can't believe. And it was all in his back legs. His back legs, for some reason, were just kind of a little stiff. And you could see he was trying to straighten out and move a little bit. And I thought, oh my God, something is gonna happen to Elvis. I was stressing out. And then you never guess what happened. He actually pooped all over the floor. So I think he was like maybe a little backed up or something. I'm not 100% sure, but ever since then, he started moving around really good. And the last few days, I kept him a really close eye on him, and he seems to be completely fine. But oh my gosh, I was so stressed out because this animal is absolutely so special to me. Right, Elvis? You're a good boy. Go ahead, have some fun, buddy. And like I've mentioned before, we typically let him just kind of run around for a while every single day because he needs his kind of enrichment. He loves cruising around and exploring. Go ahead, bud, you can have some fun. I was pretty excited. I had my friend Matt Baronic come out. He actually is a zookeeper. And he worked a lot with amphibians at the Mystic Aquarium where he was like talking about lighting and what we can do here. He said that we should add some like bromeliads, some java moss, uh, stuff like that. But the one thing he really talked about is we actually replaced some of the light bulbs with LED light that just looks a little bit better. And Noah and Lori oh, seem yeah. to really like 
this one's light bulb right yeah. here. This one is pretty cool right there. It really makes the cage look different. It makes the cage look different, but I also can't open my eyes anymore because I'm going blind. <laughs> that light just draws your eye to it, and then it. you're like, <laughs> all you see is that light. I close my eyes. <laughs> but the light looks cool when you look at it. It's like red, white, and blue. Yeah, it but is. like it hurts so bad, so you can only look. It's it's weird. It's weird. <laughs> it is true. It's like the cage looks absolutely incredible, but the light kind of draws you to it. So yeah. when you're looking in the cage, you're like, oh, that light is really good, but then it yeah. blinds you. So yeah, I don't know what I we should know. do. Do you think the frogs feel the same way? No, no, they're not. Like staring at it right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> look at the light. <laughs> Take a look at this Solomon Island skink right here. Just kind of laying so crazy over here. These two Solomon Island skinks are absolutely amazing. And as a matter of fact, like I had mentioned, my buddy Matt was here. He was actually a head keeper over at the Mystic Aquarium for reptiles. Now he works at another zoo in the New York area. So he gave me a lot of ideas about our zoo. One of the reasons he came to visit was just to kind of give his insight when he was running an institution that's an AZA, which is an accredited zoo. And basically he said with this cage right here, it would be perfect to change the bedding out a little bit and actually add some Solomon Island toads, which are the ones with the little horns that are really cool. He said that they can live right with the Solomon Island skinks. And a lot of zoos do that. They'll do multi-species exhibits as long as they come from the same region and they won't eat each other and they'll all cohabitate. He said in this particular enclosure, it'd be perfect because a lot of times these skinks will hide, not like this one out right now. And that way people could actually see the toads cruising around when it's open on exhibit. He actually gave me the same idea for some dart frogs and some other things. So I don't know, we might do some changes here. As a matter of fact, one of the first things I think I'm going to do is change out some of the bedding for what they call ABG bedding in some of our tanks and start to kind of see if that's going to work out for us. So it's always cool to have cool friends that can come in and give us ideas of how we can improve the zoo. Let's go ahead and feed Toothless. Toothless is back there saying, what do you got for me, Dad? Go, Toothless. Ah, yes. <laughs> he is such a good animal. We're going to give him a big one now. Here you go, Toothless. There you go, bud. Ah, oh, yes. There you go. Nice big old roach. Oh. There you go, Toothless. Woo. Good job, buddy. Okay, now another small one. There you go. Munch it. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Where'd it go, bud? There it is. Oh, you got it. <laughs> Toothless is amazing, I tell you what. What a cool, cool animal there. And again, I always talk about variety. Bugs are really good for little monitors in particular. Feeding those insects is really great protein, but it's not bad for them. You know, feeding them too much raw meat and stuff like that, rodents can actually really be bad for them. So uh, he loves roaches. We do crickets, we do a whole bunch of other stuff. So what a great animal. With that said, guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. Again, you can go down a link in the description. You can get 50% off of your coffee from trade. Again, the coupon code is Brian B. Go check them out. They've been a great supporter of us and I really do appreciate it. And you know Lori absolutely loves coffee, so it's a bonus there as well. As for now, I just wish that you guys have an amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. As always, your support means the world to me and I truly do love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you strike that like button? Can you turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video? Make a comment down below because as always, I love reading about your beautiful faces. Be kind to someone, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.